coming up this weekend I'm smiling <laughs> but I might not be smiling by the end but <laughs> if it was anything that happened like last last North London derby oh no last, the last one we won but the last North London derby at White Hart Lane that was disaster fantastic game disaster fantastic game yeah. of football yeah, so obviously we lay our cards on the table before every uh, every episode so I'm Arsenal my name's Matt and you know Dapo Tottenham yeah, yeah, you got it. You got it. Um, I think we're gonna. I think we we might. I'm not gonna say good because it's a mm. prediction. We might just do you guys this time. I think you know. We might just. I think uh, you know. Saka's playing well. You know. I'm looking at Udegaard. Who's who's the guard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's going on with all these Norwegian players? Yeah. Well, why are they not qualified for nothing? Like, they've, got bloody, they've got two of the best players in Europe at the moment. Two of the best players in the world. Uh, yeah. This Udegaard, so he's starting to remind me of Dennis Bergkamp a little bit. I'll tell you something, Real Madrid, how they can let this Udegaard come to, to the oh. arse? Oh. <laughs> I do not know. I do not know. The last time they did that fast was at Cassius. Yeah. Or Cassius, whatever, whatever, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, whatever his name was. But, um, so we basically everyone knows how the North London derby in recent years. Mm-hmm. Spurs win the, their home game. We win our home game. Right. We've got to buck the trend now. We've got to go. We've got a uh, Saka, Eddie and Ketia, All the guys are in good form. It's about time we got. We went to your place mm-hmm. and taught Tottenham a well-deserved lesson. What? How to lose? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. Thing, the thing is, is that. Um, I'm, I'm apprehensive about this North London derby because it's not like Spurs fans, is it? Because w- w- yeah. Bentoncourt for me is the is the um, the key to that midfield. Mm. I watched him play in the World Cup and he was outstanding for for Uruguay. He really was. And um, what I've seen him at him at Spurs, if, if Conte lets him off the leash, he's a box to box midfielder that yeah. can tackle, and also he started to score a few goals. But will Conte let him off the leash? This is the whole thing about Conte. Yeah. He doesn't want to let a lot of people off the leash. Well, what I'm hearing as well is that Benton was struggling with his injury. Mm-hmm. We need him back for this North London derby. Yeah. Without him back, that Arsenal midfield is... Uh, Could be. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Yeah, he's a so bit what, too... Is this um, Jed? Oh, Jed Spence. Jed Spence. Great player. Yeah. Great player. Arsenal should, fans should remember Jed Spence because... Uh, in the FA Cup. He can't get a game for Tottenham. He can't, he doesn't, but let, me he, just, let, let me just refresh the memories of, yeah. of, for Arsenal fans. In the FA Cup, was it last season? Yeah. yeah. Did you get knocked out by Nottingham Forest yeah, last season? But the thing about Spurs... Uh, still haven't finished. <laughs> Nottingham Forest last season. Arsenal went up. Was it a Forest? Or was it was it? a Forest. We were in that bloody yeah. awful white kit, which I never... <laughs> Thought we'd ever wear again, and then on Wednesday we play, Monday we bloody played. Yeah. Like, we don't play in all white. Huh. It's, we're only losers play apart from where we do. Well, Angelo likes it. My friend Angelo is a goon and he loves that white kit. So <laughs> why we don't wear this white kit because people are stabbing each other, <laughs> and as a result of the people stabbing each other, we Arsenal got copy and Tottenham. Yeah, copy and Tottenham. Yeah, we had one nothing in two years. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but I heard this Jed Spence character, right? Great player. You know, yeah. I was watching some Spurs podcast the other day, and the guy was saying Martin Luther King said, Free at last. Free because apart from Jed Spence. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the thing is, Jed Spence, he was on loan from Middlesbrough at Nottingham Forest last season. Yeah. And Arsenal came to play at in the FA Cup. At Nottingham Forest, yeah. Defending champions? Jed, Jed in the FA Cup champions, maybe? 
Yeah, but he went out. He lost yeah, to yeah, Forrest. Yeah. He lost yeah. to Forrest. Yeah. And Joe, Joe Spence was man of the match. He marked, he marked, he marked the whole, I don't know who you had playing. It could have been Smith Rowe. Yeah. Uh, uh, he marked him out of the game. I've noticed with Spurs, like, all their greatest moments come from people who once played for Spurs, <laughs> playing for someone else. You well, know, we naive, from, naive from the halfway line. Wasn't in a Tottenham shirt. It was in a, yeah, that a golf <laughs> shirt. Um, what else? Uh, oh, uh, Modric, Ballon d'Or. Ballon d'Or. Yeah. Made but not Tottenham. for Tottenham. Made in Tottenham, though. Made in Tottenham. Done somewhere else. <laughs> Gareth, Gareth Bale. Bale. Made Bale. in Tottenham. Made in Tottenham. Done somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We can't help it if we, we, we produce these great footballers. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I thought it was Southampton that produced Gareth Bale. Well, they produced him, but we made him the great yeah, footballer. Yeah, yeah. You know, Spurs made him the great well, he's, footballer. He's retired this week. That's right. That's An incredible right. career, loads of trophies. That's right. Also played for Tottenham. That's right. <laughs> loads of money too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this career, Gareth Bale. Won loads of trophies and he also played for Tottenham Hotspur. That's right. Yeah. 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 The two <laughs> never went together. <laughs> you asked Bale, well, Bale must have liked it. He came back a second time for us. Yeah, yeah, and um, he loved them. I think you, maybe you lot were the only ones prepared to pay that money for him. I think you guys were paying like 200 grand. Imagine paying a percentage of someone's wages per week and it was still 250 grand a week. Yeah, it's not bad, Jesus is it? Christ. Not bad, not bad. Oh my God, the money. I, I'd like to be on a percentage of Ronaldo's money. I'd, get, I'd, I'd go for 2% two, two of that. You know, 3.5 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 mil a week. Not it's getting, well, it's getting it's getting crazy. It's getting crazy now. So Arsenal, Tottenham. I don't know. I'm not going to go all out and say that we're going to win because I never ever. See, we're not crystal. No one's got a crystal ball. Yeah, that's right. uh, but I think it's our best chance in a long time to go down there and do something. I, we've got to not lose that game. We can go there and maybe draw. You know, if, they, if we went down and draw, I don't think too many people are going to be on our side are going to be too bothered by that but we can't go we cannot go to your place again and, and lose and, and, and lose yeah. last year yeah, I will say this though the referee from that excellent game last referee. year you know excellent referee so, yeah. you know, who got sent off was it Shaka wasn't it holding oh was it holding he just touched Son Son, Son was on the floor <laughs> you, know, you know the thing is not a lot not a lot of referees would have uh, given no. the, pen, the penalty or anything no. but he's got eagle eyes that referee you know, yeah, yeah. Maybe got, maybe got something else as well. Maybe put an envelope under the table. We're referee like that. <laughs> I thought it was a fair. Daniel, you know, well. Daniel Levy maybe under the, under the table. You know? <laughs> yeah. And this this Daniel Levy character, right? One minute Spurs win a few games. Ah, oh, Levy's been great for the club. And then he's never been a few. Great. Then it reverts back to form. Levy's the problem. <laughs> I think your ownership. This guy's a billionaire. He plays. He, he owns Tottenham. Yes. Yeah, right. Same yeah. problem we've Joe had. Stone. Yeah. Joe Louis. American, Stan Kroenke, American. I mean, even right now, mm. you know, I still skeptical about um, Kroenke. Kroenke. I'm not a Kroenke fan. I, mm. I don't want him as owner as Ars of Arsenal. Mm. You, you win a few games, you're top of the table. Everyone all of a sudden is flip flops, and uh, all of a sudden Kroenke's not. I still think Kroenke's a problem. You know, <coughs> we're, we're in the. Uh, it's still got a fantastic chance to win a title this year. Mm. Don't spend the money. Give, yeah. give, give, give us a chance. It's still half a season to go. Over half a season to go. Yeah. And I heard that you were in for Jao Felix. He's going to he's Chelsea. Got, he's got, yeah, he's, got, uh, he's gone to Chelsea, which, you know, again, American owners now. Mm. Now they've got American owners, let's see what, you know, let's see what happens. Mm. Uh, I don't think we're going to see the Chelsea that we saw under Abramovich. No, no way. They, they're they're no not table-sided. They're, they're, they're not going to... They're not going to outspend everyone from now on, are they? No, no way. No way. And always sat Potter thinking, for God's sake, you know. He's, he's only been there two minutes. But how many, has, has he even had 10 league games? I don't think he has, no. So he's had 10 league games and all the, all the Chelsea boot boys are out there sacking, you know, we expect better, blah, blah. Yeah. So how's, how's anyone supposed to build a team these days? You know, that's what I want to know. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's one thing I do respect about the way Arsenal have done things in the last few years. I've been... I've not been an Arteta out mm. guy, but if someone asked me in the last few years, I'd say, well, he's not really doing a great job. You know, if there was someone better, I'd probably rather someone better came in because mm. he's, he's, you know, Arsenal in the last three years, apart from this season, the league form has been terrible under you, Arteta. You, you got a but he's, he's had time. 
People do need time. Mm. And all of a sudden, that's bearing fruit right now. No one's got any time anymore. Even though the forest manager they were talking about sacking at the start of the oh, season. Oh, they lost. Of course, they're going to lose a few games. Uh, well, they're just coming to the Premier League. They're not even in the bottom three anymore. Uh, no, forest. So no. about fifth, fifth or sixth from bottom. No. You know? I tell you what, uh, Cooper, like, mm. he looks like he could do some sleep. I mean, I, you know, I'm an insomniac myself, but I mean, he, uh, Cooper looks like he's he hasn't slept in two years. You seen that face of it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but <laughs> I think he'll keep Forrest up though. I mean, you do. I hope so. I like yeah. Forrest. Mm. Good to see the England, England manager do well. Yeah. Um, Ch- Ch- Chelsea Fulham tomorrow. Is it Chelsea Fulham tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. And on, a th- on a Thursday night? No, no, no Friday. Sorry. On a Friday night. Friday night. That's the nearest. Stay up. Yeah. That's the nearest um, fixture. No, I think it's the nearest fixture outside of Nottingham wow. with two teams. I think Chelsea and Fulham mm. are the closest two clubs, actually. Are, are the, are, I think Forest and uh, not even Forest and Notts County are, 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 are the closest. Yeah, I mean it's in the same like, island. Yeah, that one only got Trent Bridge Cricket Ground mm. uh, right there. But I think that I think that Fulham and Chelsea is closer than that than uh, Liverpool and Everton. Or, or, is, or maybe no, do, maybe not. But but the thing is, is Fulham maybe after Liverpool and Everton. Fulham are higher than Chelsea. Who would have thought that? Yeah, I wouldn't have thought that. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have thought that. Br- Brentford are higher than Chelsea. Who would have thought even that? Be- even better. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a West London man. That, that, is there a rivalry between Brentford and Fulham? Yeah, there is now. Yeah? Yeah, because Fulham can have their Marmaduke, you know. <laughs> you know, all the posh people who support Fulham. Yeah, you know. Marmad- yeah, Marmaduke, <laughs> Rupert. Yeah. You know. Jemima. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But then Brentford, you know, you've got that working, working class element to Brentford. But I think that, I think that, because now since now Brentford have moved to Q, I think Marmaduke might, might also start going to Brentford. I think so too. Yeah. <laughs> Marmaduke, uh, Tabitha, <laughs> yeah. Free Bell Man, <laughs> Free Name, Free Name Man, yeah. Benedict, Benedict, uh, <laughs> Rostron Smith. Rostron Smith. Yeah. Uh, Smith. Yeah. Reese Smog. Yeah. Rupert Reese Smog. Jacob. All the. So free, free name man. Yeah. My, my start going Brentford man. That's right. That's right. Free name man. Free name yeah. man. So yeah. well, interesting yeah. rivalry that one, Brentford and. Um, yeah. Because we never, you don't really hear. You talk about the North London derby. It's obviously the biggest derby in London. That doubt. Mm. Then you got the. Ex East London derby, which is uh, oh. West Ham Millwall. That's now they obviously now South London Millwall. So that's obvious that one Chelsea Tottenham. But um, mm. West London, you never they don't seem to get on. Well, but there's a lot of West London clubs like Chuck, QPR, Brentford. Well, you know. Well, I think the Brentford fans have definitely taken it that Fulham are their arch rivals now. Right. Yeah. Interesting. They really have. You know. And do, do you think Fulham, t- um, but maybe put turn their nose up at that? Oh yeah, we're not. You know, we're, yeah, we're, we're not too worried. Yeah, so I yeah. think I think Fulham see themselves as Chelsea as the the main the main rivals. You know, but yeah, I right, think you have to win something once at least once <laughs> in history. I think to yeah, I don't think that's Fulham won a trophy. I don't think we have no. I don't think Fulham. I think well, they've been to couple of cup finals. Mm. But I, I, years, but I think that this rivalry is developing between Brentford and Fulham. Okay. I really do. Yeah. But I heard something very interesting today, Matt. Mm. Um, Erith, who are in the Kent League, yeah. had their biggest crowd ever yeah. of 553 people. <laughs> okay. They played Brentford B. And do you know why they had 553 people? Because Brentford B, Romeo Beckham, was playing for them. And David Beckham made an appearance. Really? Yeah. <laughs> this was last night. Can you imagine even some of them may have even taken a day off work to, to, to waste their time with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Jesus Christ, I don't get it with Beckham. I don't get it. You know, I've never been... Everyone loves Beckham. I've never I've never understood it. Mm. And I always feel like he jumps on other people's bandwagon yeah, as well. Like, you know when the Linus is... Won the uh, women's Euros yeah, last year. Oh, Beckham, Beckham's in the crowd. That's what he got. Beckham seal of approval. <laughs> yeah, Who cares? like this guy is like. Yeah, I'm on Fergie's side when it comes to, to to that guy. Like I've never understood. I've never understood it because it doesn't seem to 
doesn't seem to go be, it just got no substance to it. Yeah. You, Beckham was a really good footballer. Oh, wait, he was a good looking guy going out with a Spice Girl. Mm. What else is there that's interesting to people? I don't understand. What substance is there? No, no. Other than just some guy who's always in the. There. But the thing don't is, get it. Romeo Beckham at Bromford. Yeah. Okay, well, it, but also you have to ask, you know, maybe Romeo Beckham's a really good um, young prospect, a genuinely good young prospect. Mm. Um, at the same time, everyone knows there's money associated with that, and if obviously Beckham's it's Romeo nice. son is yeah. going to be a footballer, then obviously that's there's money attached to that. So you don't, I don't know. Mm. I don't really care. I hope you know, no, nothing against his kid. I hope his kid does well for himself. Yeah, it's because. It's uh, yeah. But I mean, again, but five hundred people turned up to see. To see, to see David. <laughs> yeah, alright. Yeah, the biggest crowd ever at oh, Eerie. You know? Jesus Christ, I don't get it now. It's crazy. But, um, I don't, do you know what? Alex Ferguson said that David Beckham was the only footballer he knew who wanted to be more famous than what he was. Because mm. obviously, big, you know, big time footballers, they get harassed on the street probably a lot. They always get, they, they've got a degree of fame that's quite, probably already quite overwhelming, but Beckham wanted more. Yeah, yeah. And if that's what he wants, then fair enough for you, who, who are we to say? Mm. But I, if I was a footballer, Myself, mm. I wouldn't be jealous of that. No, no, I wouldn't too. want that. I I'd be happy. I, I'd be like, no, you can. I'd be like Paul Scholes. Uh, like, I don't need all that. I'm just exactly. a player. I earn my money, play football. It's a great, best job in the world. I wouldn't want. Would you? Would you want any of that? No, no, no. way. Because you know, he manipulates the media. Yeah. I think. I think after the royal family. Oh yeah. It's Beckham. So Beckham was in the <laughs> yeah. You know, definitely. Yeah. You know, and. Um, you know, if, if, if cash, if cash money is what you want, <laughs> you know. Well, the, the Beckham's bricks in the wall in the house are probably made of stacks of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> stacks of, <laughs> what money do you need in life? Exactly. It's like it's like Mayweather. I know we're going on, let's not go too much off, off topic, but mm. Floyd Mayweather fighting some bum yeah. for exhibition fight for five million, like Logan Paul, that absolute scumbag. Yeah. And um, is it? Is it does he need that extra five to nine million? Doesn't really to, doesn't. To, to, I mean, when he's got five hundred million in the bank, you know? anyone that can just lift that money and just scatter it in the street, you yeah. know, is ridiculous. Yeah. He just throws up money in the air. Yeah, guy, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Madness. Going for some bum, but okay, uh, so yeah. let's go back to the original uh, yeah. subject of yeah. the podcast, which is the, which was the derby. Mm. <sighs> it's gonna, What's, are you? It's going to be difficult for Spurs because. What I'm seeing is if Bentacore mm. is not fit, they're going to start playing Oliver Skip. <laughs> <laughs> Darby. <laughs> Darby. Well, I mean, Skip is he's okay, but he's not Bentacore, you know. And Arsenal's strength for me is their midfield and up front. You know, I think the midfield. I think we're with with um, Hesus, Jesus, whatever on the on the bench uh, injured. Mm. Our strength isn't up front right now. It's definitely that sad midfield. Yeah, and the yeah. thing is, please play Granny Xhaka. Because with Granny Xhaka... Granny Xhaka's doing great this year. Yeah. I'm glad he is, but he's always... He's doing, even got a song. He's, all, he's always... Let's hear the Xhaka song. Let's see you glad all over. Granny Xhaka, we got... Granny... <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck. I'm glad you got him. Zinchenko's got gold from Spandau Ballet. Yeah, I heard Zinchenko. Oh. oh. <laughs> but the thing is, with Xhaka... Is a good chance of, there's a good there's a good chance of, of, of Jacker getting sent off. There's also a good chance of well, that referee is the same as last one, yeah. Good <laughs> chance of anyone getting sent off. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Good chance of Udegaard getting sent off. Anyone. <laughs> Just send them you know, referee will find it get you know, take oh yeah, take the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, well, has Bentacle got a song? Um I haven't heard it. Yeah. I haven't heard it. But um you know, I, I'm... Well, we don't want to hear no song. We don't want to hear no song. Nice. The, the, the one that gets me the no, most. That's why I'm that's it. That, yeah. No, that's why I'm song. We have a contender for the worst song in the history of... Great, yeah. great. The Eric Dyer one. I love Eric Dyer. <laughs> Eric Dyer loves me. <laughs> Grown men sing that. But the thing is, <laughs> Dyer is sometimes Dyer. That's all sometimes. I'm Sometimes, it's always though, die by name, die by nature, <laughs> skip by name, garbage by, <laughs> garbage by name. No, 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 no. Good player, guy. Good player. What's happened to the power? He's, uh, he's been out on loan. He went to um, 
Preston. Right. And he played a few games for Preston. And I don't know whether he's injured or whatever, but um, he's, he's, he's scored a couple of goals for the Republic of Ireland, you know? Again, yeah. it's always in another shirt. <laughs> it's never in the Tottenham shirt. <laughs> but anyway, let's see. We've got five days to go to the Derby. You might be watching that here with a day to go or, or, or whatever. So uh, let's, but yeah, we'll, we'll follow this one up soon. Yeah. And come on, you Arsenal. Come on, Spurs. Yeah. See everyone. Coys, coys. Foys, more like. <laughs> yeah, so. See you. See you later. <laughs> Don't you predict you can't go, but you're good to 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 predict you can't go, but you're good to